How does the prothrombin 20210A gene mutation affect plasma prothrombin levels? Introduction The prothrombin 20210A gene mutation is associated with elevated plasma prothrombin levels, contributing to an increased risk of thrombotic events. This mutation is found in about 2-3% of Caucasians and less than 1% of other populations. This case study examines a 45-year-old patient with recurrent venous thromboembolism VTE. Patient presentation. A 45-year-old male with a history of recurrent VTE is genetically tested and confirmed to have the prothrombin 20210A gene mutation. Mechanism and findings. 1. Prothrombin levels. This mutation results in elevated plasma prothrombin levels. 2. Thrombotic risk. The elevated prothrombin levels nearly double the risk of VTE. Diagnosis and treatment. Genetic testing. Confirmed the presence of the prothrombin 20210A gene mutation. Anticoagulation. Treatment options include warfarin or direct oral anticoagulants like Xarelto or Eliquis. The necessity for long-term treatment is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Exam-focused facts. The mutation leads to elevated prothrombin levels. Prevalence of the mutation is 2-3% among Caucasians and less than 1% in other populations. Elevated prothrombin levels nearly double the risk of VTE. Genetic testing is used for risk stratification. Treatment options often include warfarin or direct oral anticoagulants DOACs, like Xarelto or Eliquis. Long-term anticoagulation is not always required and is based on clinical context. Differential diagnosis should include causes of thrombopholia such as factor V Leiden and antiphospholipid syndrome. Increased risk of thrombosis and miscarriage during pregnancy for mutation carriers. Lifelong increased risk of thrombotic events exists, but long-term anticoagulation is not always necessary. Conclusion. Understanding the implications of elevated plasma prothrombin levels due to the prothrombin 20210A gene mutation is essential for accurate diagnosis and tailored treatment planning.